Yeah, hi there, Saul, and this is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-Step System to Pass the TOEFL IBT. And you're answering a free choice speaking task. Now, this one... I don't recognize this one from one of my independent speaking tasks, so make sure you tell me what the number of the speaking task is so I know exactly where the question is coming from. Uh, all right, so anyway, let me go ahead and download your response. Then we'll listen to it in just a minute. Okay, so here we go. Here's your response to the question. If you were asked to choose one place in your country, where would you take, where you would take a tourist, which place would you choose and why? I know I supposed to take a tourist to the historical place, but I prefer to take him to my home. Because by coming to my home, he can live with a real family and uh, he can... Now you want to talk about what's called the... It's an unreal present condition, so you have to say, if I were to take a tourist to my country, I would take him or her to my house, even though a lot of people would suggest I take this person to a historical um, place. So you want to make sure you're using that hypothetical type grammar there, because it's not actually happening in the present get a good uh, perspective of the uh, real Persian living. Uh, for example, he can participate to the um, daily activity like eating, shopping, and visit uh, friends and family, and he can... Okay, let's go back to eating, shopping, and... Um, daily activity like eating, shopping, and visit uh, friends and family. Eating, shopping, and visiting friends, right? So you want to have what's called parallel structure. You have gerund, another gerund, a third gerund there. And can also participate uh, to the occasional event like a birthday, graduation, or a funeral. Uh, and consequently, he can live in my... Good cause-effect type transition word there. ...culture and he can understood a Persian people. Uh, and I think it's better than go to the historical place and take it... Better than going to a historical place. So uh, be careful there. Uh, and I think it's better than go to the historical place and take a picture because he can get this picture from the internet, but he can't understand people unless he lives with them. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good argument there. I, I liked how you presented the idea there. You talked about visiting a Persian person's house and why that would be important for a person if he or she wants to understand about the culture, right? So you gave a lot of examples in there to help illustrate the point you're trying to make. So I think your topic development was pretty strong. Uh, language use, maybe not so much. Uh, I'd like you to review in the grammar part of my course parallel structures and also review the use of infinitives and gerunds. I can't remember the lessons exactly, but if you write down these words, then go to the third section of my course, look for parallel structure and gerunds and infinitives. I think you can improve a little bit in those areas. Now, from a delivery standpoint, I'd like to, you probably need to keep working a little bit more with uh, thought groups and blending, right? But overall, I think you're doing uh, okay on this. So now, let's take a look at the rubrics. So as I said, you had some weaknesses with your language use. Topic development, I think, was fairly strong. Uh, I'm going to put you at 2.83 out of 4, 22 points out of 30 on this particular practice test.